All right, well, been a week. Um, haven't worked on a car. Just now, got a day to actually be able to work on the car. Um, gonna be working on the front doors today and uh, buttoning up the back doors. Uh, the issue is, is when I dropped the roof, I just spread it four inches forward to make the roof line, the front windshield line up. Um, that really, really changed this front door jam. So, as you can see, it slopes down. Before it didn't, it sloped a little, but not like this. So, if you look at the original top of the door, that's a big difference. Even if I try to jam it in here, everything's completely off. So, what I think I'm going to do is... Start with the back, cut it, fit that part in, then probably jump to the front, fit that in and work everything in the middle together until I get a nice line on it. Um, I ground a few spots of welds that were going to be in the way of the door and everything like that. Um, it's going to be a lot of cuts and a lot of pieces, but uh, we're going to work on that today. All right, let's see what happens. All right, so I've gotten all, I cut all the accordion cuts in here, you know, the relief cuts, reshaped it back out. Now we do have this gap here because this part of the door is farther. Now, sitting trying to custom make all these little bevels and all, ain't gonna happen. So what I'm gonna do is find the piece that I cut out of the door here. It should be about four, four and a half inches cut a section of it it should be kind of straight right there and fit it in here once I've got that tacked and fit it now I can take and like you saw me do on the back window press and reshape this curve to get it where I want it and then weld it out and then it'll be all the finished welding in order to get it all together um, there's a lot of big gaps in it but I had to with the cuts to make it bend the way I want it to so uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting, but uh, i got to find this piece now so I can make that piece. So, time to find that. Alright, so, I've cut out this piece. It was the piece from here. I've cut it down to this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is fit it in here. Now, it doesn't match on the bottom and it's too tall here. That's alright. So, what I'm going to do is line up the crease, the line there, tack it. Twist this one till it matches up, tack it. Once I get at about right, then I'll go ahead and tack a few more, and then I'll just lop off that top piece. And when I weld it out, it won't be a big deal. So, uh, yeah, always look around the car at other moldings, stuff you cut. I've got a big pile behind the car of every single piece I've cut off this car. I didn't throw anything away. Um, so I can just dig through it to try to find something with the same body line. To use that way I don't spend all the time trying to recreate a piece um, use what you got you know what I mean so don't throw away I never throw away anything from a car until I'm completely done with the car and half the time I still end up keeping shit so but it's there you know if you can't get in a bind and you need it instead of spending hours making something just freaking use what you got all right Okay, so this is the inside of the door jam. You see where I've tacked that piece in. But all your structure is right here. So this is the other piece which didn't match up. But what I'm doing, so I'm gonna fit that in there. 
this way. Weld that out. And I can get the structure back in the door. So that's what I'm going to work on right now. All right, well, that middle piece is in now, so I have, you know, the door's structural enough I can work with it. Uh, some of these tacks I did earlier, I don't like the flow of it, so I'm gonna cut these tacks and work on reshaping it up here. Um, it's a little hard because the freaking door doesn't close all the way, so I'm having to watch my gap and hope it stays the same. Um, and figure out the door later exactly why it won't shut all the way but the rear one even when it locks doesn't so i'm just lining them up here and so they'll be the same and then i can adjust them all later um so i'm trying to figure out right now i'm gonna cut here and here and then try to shape this a little better and then tack it out got this big gap up here that i had to deal with it not only is a huge gap here, but it also is one piece is like this and one piece is like this. I kind of want to work the two so it's a little smoother than just a over. Um, so that's what I'm going to be working on right now. All right, so front door's done, completely welded out. Um, I've kind of decided to leave my welds like this. I'm just gonna grind them smooth so they don't cut your hand when you run your hand on it. And that way you can really see all the seams, all the work, everything I had to do in this car. Um, I've grinded some of the stuff smooth um, where you know things go together, stuff like that, so there's no interference. But on the exterior stuff, I'm not painting this car. So I'm thinking about just knocking down the welds like that so you can really see them. Um, and I think it might give it a cool look. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is jump to the back door. I've got it open. Uh, the biggest issue with the back door is the hinge. I cut right below the hinge. So I've gotta make sure I get a good solid weld between the hinge and the bottom of the door because opening and closing it, that, that could break. So I gotta really focus on that, get a clean, clean the metal up, get a real good weld in there. On the outside, I gotta, you know, shape that up, weld it, not a big deal. Um, and then on the inside of my A pillar, my B pillar, or I mean my B and my C pillar, um, I wanna cut some sheet metal and kind of put a cover in there on it, just because it's all open holes and like, you know, from all the body panels and all the shit that goes in there. So there's not a lot of strength in it. So I've welded, you know, I've welded the outside, I've welded the inside, but I'm gonna be picking this body up and down, up and down, up and down. The floor is gonna be cut out of it. So there's gonna be a lot of stress on it. So I'm gonna add some sheet metal on the pillars to really help strengthen it up so it can handle it and not be twisting, turning, breaking. So uh, I figure I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this side completely out. I'm gonna weld it all out, I'm gonna brace it up, I'm gonna get it completely ready, and then I'll go to the other side, do the doors, do everything there. Um, just because everything's here, might as well finish this side while I'm sitting here. So uh, that's what we're gonna be working on. Um, I'll be going back touching up some of the spots that I see light through that I didn't get a complete weld on, those type things. But uh, so yeah, it's gonna take a little while, but I'll get this side done.
All right, so the other side of the car is completely done. We're working on this side now. Uh, this door. gap right here and up here so and then once we get that I can try to figure out where to cut the top but right, it looks like this thing's got have some taken off of here all right well I'm we'll gonna start trimming and cutting trying to put this together see how it looks um, kind of just duplicate what we did on the other side so um, let's just hope it comes together pretty easy. I got a feeling I'm about to cut this off up here or at least pie cut it and bend it some more, but we'll see how it comes together. All right, so the front's all watered up. I don't know, so came together pretty decent. A little more grinding to do, but not too much. Um, it's sturdy. I've slammed it a bunch of times. It seems to hold up pretty good. So now all's left is the back door. So I got a couple of reliefs to cut, weld it out, and uh, see if we can get this one to shut too. And doors are done.